was gonna say they could do that right anyway hey we won What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to yet another gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Uh, I'm actually going to be at a conference this time uh, when this video goes out, so I'm like pre-recording well in advance to make sure that we got some videos coming out for you guys. I'm going to try and stay on top of it all week, but I will go ahead and say next week, I'm going to be out of town for the full week. Caitlin and I, uh, if you don't know my wife, she and I are going to take our like full-on honeymoon during her spring break because we weren't able to take a full one when we got married in October. Uh, and so we are actually going to be out of town for a little while. I'm still going to try and get gameplay up every single day. I'm going to try and get ahead of it. That's why I'm pre-recording so much. But in case we miss a day, I just felt the need to it, let you guys know uh, that we'll do the best we can. I'm trying really hard not to break that streak since the start of the year. We've been great with it. But let's talk about today's deck, guys. This is Simic Ramp, taken from MTG Arena Zone. Uh, a very interesting deck uh, for multiple reasons. This really caught my eye, though, because uh, of two things. One, it has Tamiyo Completed Sage. One of my favorite cards from the new set. I think this thing is insane. Uh, the uh, the reanimator style effect that Tamiyo allows is pretty awesome, in my opinion. But in addition, we also see a couple of very interesting cards that we normally don't get to see in standard. First and foremost, Grafted Identity, uh, a two, two and two blue enchantment aura. As you play this, you do have to sacrifice a creature, uh, which is fine. We can do that. Uh, you control, you target a creature and you control it, and then it gets plus one, plus one. So this is basically like, hey, I'm, I'm just going to jack your thing. <laughs> uh, so against any kind of big creature decks, this is going to be great. I don't anticipate this being amazing all the time, uh, which is nice because it is only a two of in the list anyway, but uh, occasionally this could just win you the game, uh, which I'm kind of stoked about. Also, we have Careful Cultivation. Uh, an interesting uh, little enchantment as well. You can channel it out and get a 1-1 that taps for green, or you can enchant a permanent. Uh, if it's a creature, it gets plus 1, plus 3, has reach, and has tap for 2 green. Uh, so again, a little bit of ramp aspect to it. We do have Lotus Cobra and the Florahedron to help ramp us. Uh, the Cultivator here going to throw out some basic lands for us, which is great. Storm the Festival is what we are trying to actually ramp into, along with, of course, Tamiyo, Ren and Seven, which is great, and then uh, Emrith, the Desert Doom, uh, a really difficult threat to deal with, in my opinion, and just a really powerful card. This also helps refill our hand, which is great. The Kazandu Mammoth is here to capitalize on all the land triggers, which we should have quite a few. Uh, and then, of course, Fading Hope to bounce some stuff. We do have Hall of the Storm Giants, Besiju, Soaring City uh, and Lair of the Hydra, all of which can capitalize on the mana quite well. And that's it. It's a pretty straightforward ramp deck, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this. I think this is a pretty unique list. And so for me, this is really exciting. I love Tamiyo. I really, really love Tamiyo. I have not played this at all. Uh, and so disclaimer now, I'm going to be learning as we go through this one. But I think it'll be a fun time, and I think I think it's a relatively straightforward deck. So we're gonna give it our best shot and hopefully have some fun. Maybe get a couple wins, but let's jump into it, guys. Let's enjoy it. Let's kick off the week with some fun. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. This is not a super great hand. <laughs> um, I mean, we can play a Tamiyo early. I don't know that that's great, though. I'm gonna mulligan. I like this better, honestly. Um, I think we throw a Ren back. We've got two of them, so that's kind of fine. Um, but yeah, I think this is a better option. Let's go ahead and lead on the Lair of the Hydra. We've got the Hall of the Storm Giants, so we can throw that out next turn. Um, and then at least we have a turn three play. Just not... We need to have some amount of plays early in the game, you know what I mean? Uh, we'll just pass here, obviously. Um, interesting. So we'll we'll find ourselves, it looks like, against Vampire Blood Tokens, uh, which is going to be an interesting matchup. We theoretically should be able to outpower them, but I'm not positive on that. Uh, we do have to get pretty far down, and then they are obviously going to have some removal, I would imagine. Yeah, this is a very annoying deck. 
to play against, in case you don't know. Uh, Cultivator's not bad, actually. So let's do this. We're just going to drop the Mammoth down. Uh, turn four, we've got the Cultivator play, which does ramp us into Storm the Festival uh, or Ren and Seven the next turn. So that's actually pretty good. Um, hopefully they can't deal with this, but if they can, like, I'd rather them deal with the Mammoth than, like, the Cultivator. Uh, no. The Mammoth rather than Ren and Seven. The Cultivator really gets its value when it enters the battlefield, so they can deal with that too if they want. Sorry I'm a little sniffy this morning, by the way. Allergy season, guys. I don't know if anybody else is having issues, but man. Okay, they just passed. Well, that's great. Um, so that's going to add up to quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and do this. That powers out the uh, mammoth even further, so this is just going to, like, really bait a block, basically. <laughs> um... Let's actually get this just to be safe. I don't know how much blue we might need, but I just want to be safe in that aspect and get double blue just so we've got all the mana we need. We've already got this, but it just helps us out. Okay. Seven damage is a lot, so it does make sense they block. Um, and it that 1-1 one one already did its thing, so... Uh, the good news here is this upcoming turn, we just get to storm the festival if we want, uh, which is super solid and a nice little two for one. Uh, hopefully hitting, like, if we hit another Ren and Seven, I'm kind of okay with it, you know what I mean? Um, if we hit a Tamiyo, great. Yep, they're gonna kill the Mammoth, that makes sense. Uh, interesting they didn't kill the Cultivator just because it was the untapped thing, um, but I do think that kind of makes sense. All right, so I think we play that first. Uh, so we can actually just like stop their thing from working if we return this to hand, can't we? Uh, nah, we're just gonna storm. <laughs> uh, storm's cooler, right? Um, these aren't amazing. Uh. I mean, I, I guess it's actually land. So my thing is we, we do want to ramp into more storm the festivals basically. And so, uh, getting the land here just gives us that a turn earlier. Um, which I think is relevant. It also just makes this a giant seven, seven, which is like cool with me. Um, they really value this 1-1, one, one, this engine that they have going on, because they didn't block. I mean, it's only 3 damage, I suppose, so maybe that's why, but uh, just some things to think about. I don't really want to proactively do this, because at some point, they kind of just have to block a giant 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> um, and so, in my mind, at least, it's like, okay, we could do that, but... I mean, it shuts off a 1 damage engine, which doesn't seem like it's fast enough just to me. Uh, I would love to get to this Storm the Festival before they can Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Um, I guess they can now, but that's going to take their turn if they decide to do that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, opponent really either thinking or running down the clock. Um, either way, it's fine. Okay, Soren. Sure. Soren's really good. I get you. They didn't hive, so I'm pretty cool with that. Okay, so they're actually drawing. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of fine. They can voltage, voltage surge. Um, they have to sack an artifact, but they can just voltage surge on the Renin 7, but we actually have another Renin 7. <laughs> Uh, and so that's fine. <laughs> I don't particularly care about that. Uh, we can obviously take out Soren this upcoming turn without any issue. Um, I think that is going to be the play because I do want to get that off the field. 
Oh, they can sacrifice. So they don't have to. Fair enough. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How much does it take to activate this? Six. So we can just attack with Hull. Uh, alternatively, we can do this. Um. All right, so I think we're going to play this. That bolsters that up. Um, you know, I think we will just power this out. Uh, yeah. So this. Um, I'm just going to guarantee the kill on the Soren. Um, they can't do anything really about that. They can block three to the face if they want, but that doesn't matter. I don't want them to get that going uh, and be able to start gaining life off of it because we are going to try and close out this game pretty quickly. Um, and again, we're just kind of killing them with what's on board here, so I'm not committing more because we don't really need to. Um, we can obviously just Ren and Seven drop the Tree Folk and then really do some damage, which I think we probably will this upcoming turn, but like we don't have to, you know? We can also Tamio and get the three drop Mammoth back, which isn't too bad. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they got quite a bit going on here, but uh, I don't think they can power, outpower an 8-8. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need two more lands to get. Oh, ten? Excuse me. Okay. I mean Ren can help get that if we need it to. It's kind of a surprisingly long game. Um I mean they've had things that we've wanted to deal with, I suppose, so it makes sense, but Okay. I mean don't love that, obviously but land is good i like land all right we're gonna run auto pay do this um we'll do this Oh, whoops. So we do have to do this for the Phyrexian mana, which is annoying, but fine. Uh, and what we'll do is actually tap down the Blood Tithe Harvester. Just so this doesn't untap anymore. Um, and then we get to attack in here. So again, we're just setting it up so that way they've got multiple things to have to deal with and it's a little bit more challenging for them to fight through. Okay. This little like combo is pretty annoying and it eventually does win. Uh, and so we are going to have to kind of get around that. But now at this point, we've just got so much on board to deploy that we do start just activating the hull or the layer of the Hydra, either one. Um, but the hull is a little bit challenging for them to deal with and just start powering out some damage. Um, I think this is somewhat locked up. We'll see. I mean, they could have a lot. I don't know what, but they could. <laughs> the nice thing here is Tamio does allow us some reanimator options as well. So, like, even if they swept, we've got some things that we can do. Um, double nine nine is pretty difficult for them to deal with. If we draw a land, we can storm. Um, unless they hive of the Eye Tyrant, which I'm really surprised they haven't done at this point just to get that Storm the Festival out of there. We're gonna Meat Hook for four? Okay. I mean, that's pretty good considering they're draining our life pretty quickly here, but we still have nine nines. Um, so we just tap this. They can sack it in response. Uh, they didn't. I guess they can still... Okay. I was gonna say, they could do that, right? Anyway, hey, we won! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty easy keep. I mean, we've got Fading Hope, Lotus Cobra, Mammoth, 
like is a nice one two three um yeah not much to say there easy keep uh the question is do we go for the fading hope play turn one or do we not really worry about it i think we can afford it we've got the green mana that we need so it's really not that big of an issue okay uh let's go ahead and do this fully expect this might die um yeah i mean it's pretty straightforward oh no they don't have land well that's good for us um <laughs> all right let's do that did we go for the like crazy play uh we might have messed up to do that though we can actually tamio here if we want uh no that's not the right play we're just gonna lotus cobra uh kind of messed up there a little bit but that's fine I do feel bad anytime the opponent doesn't have land, but having been there before, I'm glad other people feel it. Um, all right, they did get it. Okay. I'm just gonna actively like bounce their stuff and devalue what they've got. Yeah, I'll definitely keep a Ren in seven. All right, so this gives us enough to storm the festival, uh, which we'll just do. <laughs> interesting um i think we actually just pick up the two lands here so this gives us enough mana to like kind of go crazy so we get two green two blue i suppose i'm gonna go ahead and tamio here we're not under a lot of pressure wow we really didn't even have to do that we could have oh, that was a mess up but that's okay that is okay so we actually have more than enough mana we could have just played it but it doesn't really matter um cool can we storm again next turn i think we can that's really scary um so we cannot it's got hexproof from planes walkers so we can't actually do too much about that but let's do this it's green it's green can't do that um Let's red in seven then. Uh, let's do this. So now we got a giant blocker. We'll just do this, submitting zero, and we'll pass. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. They could definitely sweep. They've got. I mean, I have to imagine this is a blood on the snow deck. I don't know why else they'd run all these. So like, I'm sure they can do something. We definitely have misplayed this game, by the way, as well. We could have done things a lot better, but... Interesting. We just... Block? I don't know why they attacked. That seems really odd. Okay. Um... Can we just do this? We got one. <laughs> Well, that's not exactly ideal um that does allow us to deal with this if we want to what else did we get into our graveyard just a bunch of fluorohedrons okay uh so what we can do is tap one of these we can bounce this one um this comes at them this goes at them and this goes there right seems pretty good um and i'm actually gonna wait on this lotus cobra i have to imagine they've got blood on the snow right like it's gotta be a thing yeah there it is all right called it <laughs> interesting um very interesting okay so what do we do I'm gonna steal this. <laughs> I'm gonna do the weird thing and steal it. I think that's fun. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's plus up first. See what we get in the graveyard. Another storm. All right, that's cool. Um, 
I'm just going to do this, submit zero, and pass. <laughs> I really like this deck. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, okay. So we can actually just sacrifice the Rin, and that's okay. Oh no, they doubled it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and cultivate her. We're setting up extra storm the festivals, though. We're kind of just playing around with this one, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm not playing super efficiently or even very well at all, but it's a fun deck to play with. So now we have lethal on board because we have Hollow the Storm Giant. So even if they sweep, uh, we've got a way to kill them. Granted, they can probably get, I assume, Loth back, uh, which isn't ideal. Sacrifice Cultivator, that's fine. If they've got double Soul Shatter again. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, we did it! That was awesome! That was a weird game. <laughs> this is a super weird game. Uh, we'll try for one more, guys. We will try for one more. We got Plat Tier 2. Let's see if we can go for one undefeated run with this list. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Definitely our last game. Uh, and we can try this. I'm not super optimistic about it, but we'll definitely give it a shot here. We do have the Fading Hope turn one, which is helpful. All right, extra Fading Hope. We definitely want land here. Um, I mean, more than anything else, we may end up having to play the Mammoth as a land this upcoming turn, uh, just to try and get us to that Cultivator, because I think that's a higher value play with a hand like this. Um, what I mean by that is we have to get extra lands out. We're trying to get to Storm the Festival, so I'd much rather get the Cultivator down, pull that basic land, uh, and be able to ramp into that, which, unfortunately, to do so, we probably are going to have to play the Mammoth, but we'll see. Opponent taking a minute to consider their options. Uh, or maybe their, their game crash. That happens to me a lot. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but every once in a while, the client will just crash. Um, also, guys, last week, we finished up season one of it is what it is and my goodness was that a blast i had such a great time with country fried doing that we did announce at the end of that episode we do have a podcast coming uh which i'm very excited about i think it's going to be a great time interesting um do we fading hope that no i don't think we do yet uh and so i am tremendously excited for that experience it's going to be a blast uh, I do think you guys will love uh, the podcast. It's going to be a really fun time. Country Fried is an all-around great guy, genuinely. Uh, and so to be able to work with him on something like this has been absolutely phenomenal. Really do love it. Um, so I think we just bounce now. Lair of the Hydra, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a land. I'm going to take basically any land I can get, especially a green land, since we are trying to get to Storm the Festival. Um, so yeah, I am tremendously excited, guys. It's going to be a blast. I hope you guys have enjoyed that series. Uh, we do have a lot more exciting stuff coming, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I think we just bounce. <laughs> We're going to be as annoying as possible this game. <laughs> All right, cool. Another land on top. I will take it. Let's cultivate her. Um, part of the reason, guys, I do want to keep all the lands is because when we do have Storm the Festival down, we're going to want to storm it or flashback it. Uh, and so um, I'm all too happy to, to continue putting lands on top just to give us that out. We also just have Lair of the Hydra. So like, there's a lot of incentive to get as many lands as we can down. That's very good and very much a problem for us. Okay. Interesting they killed that, to be honest. Um, all right, going to do this and just going to storm. All right, what do we hit? We got that and we got that. I think those are our best options. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I would love to take that action. So let's get a land. Um, weirdly, so I think what we do is pay four here and get cultivator uh again this is just ramping us into more stuff so like i'm kind of cool with all this and yeah i mean one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that gives us storm the festival mana well this is terrible 
the only thing i will say is we have no sweepers uh and so it's gonna be a really big challenge to like deal with everything <laughs> uh yeah dude terrifying absolutely terrifying all right cool curious to see if they attack in here though no they don't haha -ha. oh another storm the festival all right so i think we activate restorm just in case we get uh something we want to like another tamio auto pay like another tamio um yeah i'm just gonna take this keep that one um Can we just tap some stuff down here, right? Now, do we attack with these two? I think yes. Um, I'm not sold that this is the right call, but I'm kind of okay if they die. So, okay, they're just going to take this. Um, basically what we're trying to set up is a world where we can just attack in one turn and win, but they have got so much on the board here that it's a terrifying prospect to do that. <laughs> um, but I think we just have to try. Yep, that's terrible for us. Necro Duality is such a broken card. <laughs> um, next turn though, we do have Storm the Vessel, so that's helpful. Yep. Luckily they don't have haste. Um, but they are going to get Tamio in. Yeah. So we just let Tamio die. Yeah, I'm not going to let it. We let Tamio die uh, and theoretically deal with some stuff on the board here. Land is helpful. These cannot block. So can we set up a scenario where we just win? We have to sacrifice to do, like, steal these. So I think we just have to go for the storm. Wow, these are terrible. Um, <laughs> these are really bad. All right. Just take that. Um, yeah. Doesn't really matter. All right, so we can attack in for lethal. They just block in response. But I think next turn we're just dead anyway. So screw it. <laughs> doesn't really matter we're dead here uh sadly yep yep um cool so we'll good game them here they definitely have us that's unfortunate but you know what we put up a good fight i hate that it took away an undefeated run with this list but let's go ahead guys let's concede and we'll talk about this list all right, so Simic Ramp, uh, surprisingly good, actually. I really enjoyed this. The Stolen Identity was kind of a fun card. Uh, I, I actually really enjoyed it in that second game. Uh, overall, though, I mean, it has really good high-value plays, right? Like, it really capitalizes on the Landfall. The Cultivators are phenomenal. I think the Tamiyo lines up with the culti Cultivator, excuse me, so well, because what you're able to do is play the Tamiyo uh reanimate basically a token copy of the cultivator uh get an extra land drop and that helps you ramp obviously into the storm of the festival or power up the kazandu mammoth uh hit a lotus cobra trigger it does so much and so i think there's a lot of high value synergistic plays in this list that just feel good even if you don't win, it just feels good. Uh, it does have quite a bit of outs to slow the opponent down as well between the Fading Hopes uh, as well as, uh, excuse me, the, the Tamiyo uh, plus one ability. Uh, and so overall, I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, may not have been an undefeated run, but I actually don't think we were as far off as it seemed. Um, only because if we had gotten one solid extra attack in, we, I think, could have won the game. Um, but regardless, it is what it is. That's all speculation. I think we had a blast doing it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment if you did. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, not only for the giveaway, but just to support. It would be amazing if you did. Uh, and guys, I love you all. Have a fantastic week, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you again very soon.